Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 88 in the New King James Version. A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah, to the chief musician, set to Mahalath Leonath, a contemplation of Haman the Ezrahite. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I am like a man who has no strength, adrift among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, and who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the depths. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. Selah. You have put away my acquaintances far from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up, and I cannot get out. My eye wastes away because of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Selah. Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark? and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I have been afflicted and ready to die from my youth. I suffer your terrors. I am distraught. Your fierce wrath has gone over me. Your terrors have cut me off. They came around me all day long like water. They engulf me altogether. Loved one and friend you have put far from me, and my acquaintances into darkness. I'm going to highlight verses 9 through 13. My eye wastes away because of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Selah. Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Let's pray. God, we ask that through every trial, through every dark night of the soul, when we waste away because of affliction, when it seems like the grave will swallow us up, give us perseverance to daily call upon you, to daily stretch out our hands to you, never forgetting the words of Psalm 30, verse 5, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You do work wonders for the dead. You are the resurrection and the life and the firstborn from the dead. So we have this hope in you, that even should we perish in affliction, we will see your face in righteousness and be satisfied when we awake in your likeness. We love you, we bless you, and we choose to remain in your hope. In Jesus' name, amen.